one of my favorite episodes of SpongeBob is the parody episode where they make fun of fast food training videos, titled Krusty Krab Training Video. It's fairly short, so I'd say we skip the plot summary and just get right into the spicy mistake. In the first exterior shot of the Krusty Krab, there is a small error that Nickelodeon awkwardly missed, as there appears to be two enter signs, when, as you know, there's only supposed to be one. Here's a clip. Welcome aboard. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You've recently been hired by the Krusty Krab restaurant, and this is your first official day of training. Our next mistake can be found in another Season 11 episode, titled Surf in Turf. This episode is all about Sandy entering a ship in a bottle contest. However, due to her struggling to make one that doesn't just break, she enlists the help of SpongeBob and eventually Mr. Krabs, who agree to help as long as the prize money is split 50-50. Now it takes a bunch of failed attempts, but as you can imagine, by the end of the episode, the gang gets the job done, and Mr. Krabs tries to steal the prize money. But let's head over to this scene for a mistake. It's why you click the video. It is a little inappropriate, but during this scene, there is a single frame where Sandy's bra just disappears. Yeah, this one is pretty bad considering it's like a kid show that airs on Nickelodeon, but it only happens for a frame, so. But yeah, here's a clip with audio. Mm -hmm. Let's go, you bag of shells! I want you jumping like hot grease on a skillet! In the season 2 episode, Clams, Mr. Krabs earns his millionth dollar, and this is a very big deal for him. So he decides to give back to SpongeBob and Squidward by taking them on a fishing trip to go and catch clams for the weekend. Unfortunately for Mr. Krabs though, SpongeBob ends up losing Mr. Krabs' dollar for him when he accidentally hooks it to his fishing line and ends up feeding it to, well, a giant clam. From here, the episode focuses on Mr. Krabs' obsession to find his lost dollar. And if we head back to this scene, the animators made a tiny mistake, as for the entire episode, the ship looked like this. However, during the last shot of the episode, the ship is just like changed and now looks like this and is equipped with a bowsprit. This bowsprit was not on the boat before, so I don't know why it's there now. It's a subtle mistake, but it's a mistake. Wow, a trip! I can't believe it, Mr. Krabs. Where are we going? Fancy Springs? No. Pamper Island? Try again! Oh, oh, old Bikini Bottom Folk Village? Better than that! Clam fishing. This is the reward we get for all our hard work. Fishing for stinky clams in a smelly old boat on a filthy lagoon. You call this fun? Have you boys met me, Million Dollar? Wow, how'd you get it back? It wasn't easy. Oh, Blue Lips is quite the fighter. So eventually we settled on a trade. SpongeBob is a hard worker, but what would happen if he was forced to take a break? Well, that's the plot of the episode of Bummer Vacation, with SpongeBob being forced to take his vacation days, with Patrick, his best friend, coming in as a replacement, only temporarily though. This really bothers SpongeBob though, and results in him trying to get back to work, sneaking back into the Krusty Krab. But Mr. Krabs isn't having it, and kicks him out every single time. Now in the end, SpongeBob's break ends up ending before he even realizes it, due to him spending so much time trying to get back to work. Work. But let's go back to this scene for a mistake. During this scene, where a depressed SpongeBob is home alone, there is a brief frame where some really weird stuff goes on with his eyes. It's just odd. Look at it. These types of mistakes happen every once in a while, but boy, is it weird. Here's a clip. I'm on vacation, Gary. I'm not allowed to go to work. <laughs> Oh, my stomach has receded! 
Mr. Krabs said I couldn't work at the Krusty Krab. He didn't say I couldn't eat there. This is my ticket back inside! Our next mistake can be found in the episode Demolition Doofus. This episode is all about Spongebob accidentally injuring Mrs. Puff real bad. So to get back at him, she pretty much attempts to have him killed, with her convincing the poor Sponge to compete in a rigorous boating derby full of crazy fish. To our surprise though, Spongebob is shockingly very skilled at the derby and beats almost all of the other competitors. This only upsets Mrs. Puff even more though, with her taking matters into her own hands and joining in to get the job done herself. Now the mistake in question can be found during this scene, where Cruncher drives away from Spongebob. Throughout the episode, Cruncher has back fins. However, during this shot, the Cruncher's back fins are just missing, thus making for a subtle continuity error. Our first mistake can be found in the very recent episode of The Patrick Show, Pearl Wants to Be a Star. In this episode, Squidina invites everyone's favorite whale, Pearl, onto The Patrick Star Show to put on a little performance, but things do not go very well for her the first time around, with her completely botching her act and hurting herself with sea urchin. Eventually, she tries again, only to fail yet again. However, it's her third attempt where she finally gets it right, thus ending the episode on a happy note. Now, the mistake in question takes place during the episode's intro, but as Pearl runs around frantically, there is a single frame where Pearl's sleeves to her shirt turn transparent. It's pretty weird. Here's a clip. Pearl, what's taking so long? <gasps> oh, I can't decide. Which two do? Orange or green? Okay, both. <laughs> Swallowing swords. <laughs> If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, then you know that one of SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite places to go is Glove World, a entire amusement park that's all about gloves. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Well, unfortunately for SpongeBob and Patrick, in the episode Glove World R.I.P., Glove World is actually going to close down. As you can imagine, this causes SpongeBob and Patrick to panic. But don't worry, in the end, everything works out, and Glove World doesn't close, thank goodness. But, but if we fast forward to this scene, there's a subtle mistake, as there seems to be two Nat Petersons when there should only be one. One can be seen talking to an anchovy, and one can be seen holding balloons. Here's a clip. I think the time has come for us to accept reality. Well, we've gone this far, why start now? All I'm saying is... Maybe there's a reason Glove World is closing. I mean, just look around you. Open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Our first mistake can be found in the season 11 episode, Library Cards. This episode is pretty darn weird in terms of the plot, with Patrick becoming infatuated with reading to the point where he learns so much that his head and brain becomes too big. To combat this, he does the opposite and watches a dumb TV show to shrink his head back down to size. Now, the mistake in question takes place near the beginning of the episode, as the plank pathway normally seen between Squidward's house and the road is just missing, despite being visible in pretty much every other episode before it. It isn't a big deal, but it's definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. Huh? Why you? What I do? Why you? What I do? Huh? Why you? What I do? <laughs> wow! It's 
It's the Sir Urchin and Snail Whale Show! It's cut down time, SpongeBob! <laughs> The episode Home Sweet Rubble is all about SpongeBob's house tragically just falling apart. So it needs repairs. He gets all of his friends to help him transform it into a real home. However, despite all of the changes, SpongeBob is still not satisfied. But don't worry, this episode has a really weird ending where SpongeBob ends up getting an exact identical copy of his original house from a can of like pineapple. It's kind of funny. But anyways, on to the mistake. When Patrick stretches Squidward, it's hard to make out. Like, it's really hard, but look at Squidward's eyes. If you look closely, his eyes are off-center to the right, which looks really weird. I hope you're okay, Squidward. Get this guy some glasses. It's the end of the world. Invest in gold. Hoard your drinking what? Oh, I should have known. What's going on in here? You're just in time to lend a hand, Squidward. Lend a hand? Ah! Patrick, call Sandy. When Squidward starts to become scared for his safety after nearly having his groceries stolen, he decides it's time for some self-defense, and heads over to Spongebob's place for some karate lessons. As most of you guys already know though, Spongebob isn't actually very good at karate, so Squidward eventually gets some help from Sandy. From here, Spongebob uses his new karate skills to beat up the thug, using some cool new moves. But let's rewind back to this scene for a cheeky mistake. It's easy to miss, but when Squidward is watering Sandy's lawn, Sandy is missing her tail. It's pretty important. I don't know what's going on here, but it's missing, and boy does it look odd. Here's some clips with audio. All finished. Wow, this looks great. You missed the spot. <laughs> I reckon the yard is good and watered. In the episode Mustard O' Mine, the Krusty Krab runs out of mustard. So Mr. Krabs sends SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward to find, or well, I guess dig up some more. From here, the episode continues and is really good. But remember how I said the Krusty Krab ran out of mustard? Well, during this scene where Mr. Krabs asks SpongeBob if he's used up all of the mustard, there's actually a brand new tube of mustard like literally behind them, like right in the background. Yeah, here's a clip with audio. Let's see. Ketchup, mayonnaise, oh, mustard. Did you use up all me mustard? I Oh, who gives a flying fish about mustard? In the episode tragically titled Goodbye Krabby Patty, Mr. Krabs gets the new idea for store-bought frozen Krabby Patties. But this eventually leads to the Krusty Krab closing down due to it not being needed anymore. Now, as you can imagine, SpongeBob's love for Krabby Patties helps him save the day by the ending of the episode, and things go back to how they used to be. But if we watch during this scene, where Mr. Krabs shows Spongebob the Krusty Museum, there is a small mistake, as the chum bucket, which should be across the street, is completely missing, despite being seen in previous episodes. Here's a clip. <laughs> Curses foiled again! Our first mistake is hidden in the season 10 episode, Burst Your Bubble. In this episode, SpongeBob is tired of his poor driving skills, so he creates something revolutionary, a bubble boat. A boat that's made out of, well, bubbles. Well, it isn't long before SpongeBob's creation becomes a massive hit, with everyone in Bikini Bottom wanting a bubble boat for themselves. Heck, they become so popular that Mrs. Puff gets fired and her boating school is changed into a school specifically for bubble boats, 
ran by SpongeBob. Now in the end, bubble boats are banned from Bikini Bottom by the cops. But let's go back to this scene for a mistake. I know you missed it. As a very excited SpongeBob tells Gary about his new creation, he jumps into the air, and for about a frame, his eyes turn yellow. It looks really weird, the same yellow as his spongy body. Here's a clip. <laughs> you don't need a license to drive a bubble. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Carry on, citizen. You'll never believe it! I was out driving all day! Yes! Driving! When SpongeBob and Patrick get bored of all modern day Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy shows or movies, they decide to travel back in time just to see the superhero duo's first ever adventure in the episode Super Sitters. Well, they go back a bit too far, all the way back to when Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were babies, like complete infants, and due to the daycare worker needing a break, SpongeBob and Patrick are actually put in charge of keeping an eye on the baby superhero duo, along with all of the other super babies. Now the mistake in question can be found at the end of the episode, when SpongeBob and Patrick get kicked out, as when Go Woman runs across the screen, she turns purple for a few seconds, the same purple as her bow tie. Here's a clip. It means you've completely undone all my hard work trying to teach these kids to get along! <laughs> In the episode Good Neighbors, SpongeBob and Patrick are back to their old ways, constantly disturbing Squidward. But today isn't just any old day, it's Sunday, Squidward's day off, with them even having a pedicure scheduled later on in the day. Well, eventually, SpongeBob and Patrick make things even worse by convincing a couple that Squidward is supposedly sick, resulting in him going to the hospital and missing his pedicure. He was really excited for that. Well, in response to this, Squidward sets up a new security system in his home. Just, this ends up biting him in the butt later on when it comes to life and attacks Bikini Bottom. But let's stop the plot summary and go back over to this scene for the mistake. It can be found when Squidward hears SpongeBob's alarm clock go off. As you can see, the path to Squidward's house is missing in this close-up shot, despite being visible in the zoomed out shot seconds prior. You did overlook one teensy little detail, however. What's that, Squidward? It's Sunday! <laughs> Our good neighbor doesn't bother me on Sunday! Sunday? No wonder Squidward's grumpy. In the episode Pineapple RV, Squidward is extremely excited to use his RV and go to Purpoise Peak to see the warbling water lily. However, this is all completely ruined by his best friends, SpongeBob and Patrick, with Patrick actually causing his RV, Squidward's RV, to get crushed by a giant anchor. Now, as much as this may suck, don't worry, as SpongeBob actually converts his pineapple home into a pineapple RV, hence the name of the title. And it actually makes for a really good plot, with us seeing Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick go on quite the adventure. It's quite the road trip. But we're here for mistakes, so let's get to the mistakes. During this scene, where Squidward gets literally sucked through his chair due to the impact, there's a brief frame where his hand changes to the same shade as brown as the chair. It only happens for about a frame, and it's right before he gets sucked through. Here's a clip. We gotta get off this road! <laughs> no problem! In the episode Evil Spatula, Plankton sabotages SpongeBob's favorite spatula so that it breaks the next time he uses it. Now, anyone else would just move on and get like a new spatula, but this really upsets SpongeBob. Well, eventually, SpongeBob moves on and gets this new high-tech spatula. 
However, there's something up with it. This thing was made by Plankton, and is designed to ultimately steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. Now, Plankton gets close, but don't worry, Mr. Krabs catches on and saves the day, thus ending the episode. But if we go back a few scenes to this scene, there's actually a mistake. Just as SpongeBob drops the spatula in the litter box, something happens with his mouth. It like just disappears. It looks very odd. Here's a clip with audio. Infiltration complete. Time to execute phase five. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a joyful being, Sizzle Master. Here's that litter box you said you'd clean. I thought I told you not to put smell sensors on the spatula! The plot of the episode, Larry the floor manager, is pretty interesting. Larry, everyone's favorite jock, takes on the role of temporary manager of the Krusty Krab, after Mr. Krabs takes a vacation. This does not go very well though, due to Larry being a fitness freak, with him doing ridiculous things, like replacing Krabby Patties for protein power shakes. Yeah, Larry definitely takes things too far, and by the end of the episode, he gets some payback when Spongebob and a bunch of hungry Krusty Krab customers attack him. It's pretty wild, but onto the mistake. During this scene, where Spongebob is delivering protein shakes to customers and drops one, uh, this fish's eyes just turns yellow, like the same color as the protein shake, thus making for a clear mistake. SpongeBob! Squidward! Let's move it, boys! Get those power shakes out and those heart rates up! <laughs> In Season 2, Episode 15, Grandma's Kisses, Spongebob is excited to see his grandma at first, but quickly becomes embarrassed when customers at the Krusty Krab roast him and make fun of him just for wanting attention and love from his grandmother. It's pretty messed up. So because of this, Patrick and Spongebob make a big decision and become adults. They grow up. This doesn't go very well, though as Spongebob begins to crave his grandmother's affection, and in the end, he gives in. But if we rewind back to this scene, we can spot a mistake that I know you missed. At the beginning of the episode, when Spongebob says, tell me another story about when I was a baby, well, his eyelashes are missing. It isn't that big of a deal, but yeah. And then we drove all the way home with all the windows down and freezing cold. Tell me another story about when I was Was a baby. Oh, three o'clock. The episode "I Smell a Pat" is all about Patrick trying to film a new episode of the Patrick Show. However, things don't go as planned when a weird and gross smell begins to distract Patrick. From here, the episode focuses on Patrick and Squidina, searching far and wide to find what disgusting smell is distracting them. And by the end of the episode, they're successful. But let's go back to this scene for a sneaky goof. As Squidina and Patrick walk through their house, there is a quick frame where Squidina's eyes change to the same color as her body. It happens fast, so keep your eyes peeled. Delicious! This nose must be on the f Fritz. Well, Patrick finds another nose. Enjoy this <laughs> educational classic. In the episode Ghost Host, the Flying Dutchman crashes his iconic ship, so he basically becomes homeless. That is, until SpongeBob steps in and saves the day, giving him a place to stay temporarily. This goes well at first, but we eventually learn that the Flying Dutchman has kind of lost his edge, and he isn't as scary as he used to be. And from here, this becomes the main focus of the episode, with the Flying Dutchman working very hard to get back to his scary ways. And he does. It takes a few failed tries, but by the end, he's back to his own scary self. Do you know what's also scary, though? This mistake. I don't know how Nickelodeon missed it. 
But if we head back to this scene, where Squidward is cowering from his ghost-like mother, his teeth turn to the same color as his eyes. This is a weird mistake because it's hard to see, but before this, Squidward's teeth are white, like as white as rice. But then when this mistake happens, his teeth change to the same white shade as his eyes, thus making for a mistake. It'll make more sense when I show a clip in a second with audio, but for now, I just want to say thank you so much guys for supporting the channel, seriously. I'm Cartoon Cory, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another amazing video. Stay fresh, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, make sure to subscribe. If you do, I'll get you your own pineapple RV. Wouldn't that be awesome? We could go on a road trip together. All right, guys, here's that clip. I'm Cartoon Cory. Peace. Squidward! What's going on? Why haven't you called me? Mother? Why haven't you called your mother? Uh, uh, Squidums loves his mama. Why don't you call me then? Why don't you call me?